Thor Ragnarok has two additional scenes during its end credits. The second is a short, funny one, focusing on the Grand Master being confronted by the angry citizens of Sakaar following this successful revolution. But the first one is the one that has the greatest significance for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and concerns Thor's ship contained in the last Asgardians. The scene opens with Loki asking Thor if it's really a good idea to go back to Earth. Thor retorts, Yes, of course, the people of Earth love me. I'm very popular. But Loki is clearly anxious to return after the events of the first Avengers film when he tried to, you know, herald an alien invasion. Thor tells him not to worry and that he has a feeling everything's gonna work out fine. And he says that, ironically enough, as Thanos' ship looms into shot and ominous music begins to swell. The scene ends on a cliffhanger, but there's plenty more that we can unpick and infer with a little help from the Avengers Infinity War footage that was shown at this year's D23 convention. The last time we saw Thanos was the mid credit scene in Avengers Age of Ultron. With Loki and Ronan both failing to bring him the Infinity Stones, Thanos takes matters into his own hands. Fine. I'll do it myself. During Ragnarok's finale, Loki is sent to Odin's vault to retrieve Surtur's crown, to stop Hela by bringing about Ragnarok. On his way there, he pauses and looks at the Cosmic Cube, one of the Infinity Stones, which he previously stole in the first Avengers movie. We think it's safe to assume Loki nabbed this before the destruction of Asgard and perhaps intends on using it to barter with Thanos. I mean, at least he's consistently treacherous. In fact, this theory is supported by the Infinity War footage shown at Disney's D23 convention earlier this year. In that montage, there's a brief shot in which Loki holds up the Cosmic Cube and it looks like he's either about to use it or offering it up to someone. It's possible Loki has already been in contact with Thanos, revealing the location of Thor's ship, because it seems unlikely that this is just a chance meeting in the depths of space. So what happens next? Well, there's further clues in that Infinity War footage which opens with the Guardians of the Galaxy finding Thor floating through space surrounded by debris. Does Thanos destroy the rest of the Asgardians before they can build a new home on Earth? Seems pretty brutal, but would you expect anything less from a mad titan? It's worth noting that in this D23 footage, Thor still had both of his eyes, and obviously he loses one of those in Thor Ragnarok. But don't read too much into this, it was probably done to preserve the surprise of Ragnarok. The same trick was done in some of the movie's trailers. It's also entirely possible that some of these scenes might not make it into the final cut of Infinity War. So while the Thor Ragnarok end credit sequence is pretty short, there's a lot being set up for Infinity War. Thanos is getting closer to Earth and possibly with the help of Loki might finally acquire the Space Stone. If you still want to know more about Thor Ragnarok, check out our videos detailing all of the easter eggs and references we spotted or how the movie finally resolves one of the MCU's long-standing plot holes.